Here we will learn how we can use the various vector geoprocessing tools. In the previous lecture we had created the circle and rectangle. Now using this only we will learn how we can use the various geoprocessing tools. First of all go to vector in the geoprocessing tool and we'll use first the clipping tool. Now over here my input layer will be rectangle and my overlay layer will be circle. You can save your clipped file by clicking on this then going to save to file and give any file name and save it. Now I'll just run this and then close this. Now over here in the input layer we had given it as rectangle and our overlay layer was circle. So this much portion should have been clipped. Now let's just check this. I'll just untick both of these layers and as you can see from the rectangle that much portion of circle has been clipped. Now let's see another tool for that first of all untick this and take both of these layers. Now go to vector and geoprocessing tool. Over here we will use this difference. In the input layer it will be rectangle and in the overlay layer it will be a circle. You can save it from here. Go to save to file. Give any file name and then save it. Now I'll just click on run and close this. Now just untick both of these layers and let's see. This is how the difference tool works. That is from the rectangle the portion of the circle has been removed. Now let's see the another geoprocessing tool which is union. Over here it will be same in the input layer we will keep it as rectangle and in the overlay layer we will keep it as circle. You can save this by clicking here save to file give any file name and save it. Now I will just run this and close this. Now let us just see how it looks. So this is how this is the union portion. I will even show you the open attribute table. Right click go to open attribute table and as you can see we have got three fields. Here I'll just if I click here you can see this is the merged portion of both of these. Then this is the rectangle and this is the circle portion. So this is how the union tool works. Now let's see the another tool. So for that we'll go to vector geoprocessing tool and over here we'll use the intersection tool. Same way we'll keep in the input layer as rectangle and here overlay layer will be circle. You can even save this. We'll just click on run and close this. Now let's just see how it looks. So as it was intersection, the portion of the rectangle and the circle that was intersecting is visible over here. Now we'll see how we can use the another tool which is buffer. For that I'll just take this layer of rectangle and then go to vector geoprocessing tool and click on this buffer. Now what's the use of buffer? Actually it is used when you are working with any lakes or streams and you want to create some protective region. So here we'll just see like a buffer will be created that is around this rectangle some protective zone will be created. So here in the input layer we'll keep it as rectangle and distance. You can keep it as 10 or you can even increase it to increase the accuracy. You can also increase the segments like I am keeping it as 10 and the distance let's just keep it as 30. Then from here you can select the end cap style 
I'm keeping it as square. And here you can select the join style. So we'll just keep it as round. Now just run this and close this. So as you can see, this buffer has been created. But now, in order to understand that some protective zone has been created, we'll just keep this color as transparent. And for that, you'll right click on this layer, go to properties, click on the simple field, and in the field color, keep it as transparent field. Then just click on apply and OK. So as I had told you that a protective zone will be created around this rectangle. So that has been created. Now we'll see another tool, which is the dissolve tool. Firstly, I'll just untick this and tick both of these layers. Now go to vector geoprocessing tool and in that we'll click on this dissolve. Then after here in the input layer, we'll keep it as rectangle. And over here, when you'll browse using this, you need any field by which it can dissolve it. But over here, we have created the shape file and there is no such field by using which it can dissolve. So in order to use this tool, we'll not use with rectangle and circle. We'll have to create a new shape file. Now for that, just tick this layer, IND underscore ADM3, right click, go to open attribute table, and from this, select this, select features using an expression. Here, click on this fields and values, and then you'll click on this name one, double click, then select this equal operator over here, search for Telangana. Click on this all unique, then double click on this. Now, just select features. Close this and close this also. Features are being selected. Firstly, we'll just untick both of these layers. Now, just right click on this and click on zoom to layer. As you can see, Telangana has been selected. Firstly, right click, export and click on the save selected features as. I'll browse using this, giving the file name as Telangana. Here it will be in the S3 shapefile format. Save this and then click on OK. Now I'll just untick this and as you can see, all the inner boundaries are visible over here. But I just need the outer boundary of Telangana. So for this, we can use the dissolve tool. Now we'll go to vector, geoprocessing tool and dissolve. But as I said that we need a field over here and for that we'll create a field. So firstly, right click on this, go to open attribute table. Then over here, click on this pencil like icon so that we can edit. Now you'll open the field calculator. In the output field name, keep it as value. And here, bring your cursor, give it as one, and then click on OK. So now you'll be able to see that one more field has been created. Now I'll just save our edits and then just close this. Now we'll open that dissolve tool. Here keep it as Telangana in the input layer. Browse using the three dots and now as you can see we have got the field by which we can dissolve. So just click on value then OK. You can even save your file from here and then click on run and close this. So as I had told you, we have got only the outer boundary. Everything else has been dissolved. So this were the various geoprocessing tools that might be useful to you while you're working 
on any of your project in QGIS.